Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Today we are going to discuss about data flows. As the name suggests, data flows are uh, formed under data model, data flow. So these are the uh, instances of rule decision DDF. These are the instance of this particular class. And data flows, like uh, if you have a requirement that you want to combine data from two sources and uh, you want to move data from one place to another place and you want to deal with high number of records then data flows are very useful for us and there's a the source can be of different type and you can combine that you can merge those and you can copy those as well and there are different types of data flows like batch data flow real time data flow and single case data flow suppose uh, you want to process large volumes of data then you will go for batch data flow and you want to configure like a real time data like a kafka integration where subscribe and publish methodology we would be processing data or like a facebook or youtube data which is a real time data for those uh, things real time data you can see here incoming stream data and you want to process a particular data source just uh, to limit to a single case type only then uh, you can go with single case data flow let's see how we can uh, create a data flow and what are the different shapes that are available in data flow in this video i have created this sample data flow in this particular class you have to select which class you have to give and what is the rule set name and what is the name of the uh, data flow okay now this is a data set for data flow you have to configure some input parameters so this is our source configuration you can select an abstract data flow where you no need to create any database thing or you want to get data from another data flow you can call this so this is one of the inter important interview question as well if you want to call uh, one data flow from another one we can use this particular shape and this is data set data set already we discussed in one of the video if you missed it please go and watch that and this is a report definition as we know that report definition is useful to browse the records from a class and uh, if you want to that as a source to your data flow you can use this and this is partition key this i would be mentioning in our next video Suppose if I here I am keeping this as abstract submit. So if you see here, there is a plus icon over here. This plus icon, if you click, you can see compose, convert, data transform, event strategy, filter, text analyzer, merge strategy. These are the different shapes that are available in our data flow. If you click on compose, you can see here compose shape so you can give the name and if you want to copy one place to the other place you can give this uh, property and you can mention some condition also until then if you don't want to do some operation you can do it you can give this one uh, rule as well suppose this is the abstract class i have given now i am giving data set sample data set submit now compose this is another uh, source if you have another source you can give this so here if you see we have configured this particular data set uh, which is of different class and we have configured this data set of different class this is the Z, zmart zmart work class this is another class so if you want to combine these two you can use this uh, particular compose shape and you can uh, give like suppose if PM model ID is equal to uh, some date or something then only if you want to do some operations like uh, you want to set some values you can give this uh, compose shape and uh, you can see here convert convert is like a page change class suppose if you want having results from one class to another class see here this top level class and if you give this uh, particular class 
and you want to change the particular property you can do it there is a flag called as auto copy properties with identical names if you select this then all the properties with identical names from one class to another class will be automatically converted for example this is the class see there are no matches because these are different classes so if you to do if you use this convert shape the class name of the particular property would be changed suppose if you want to call a data transform you can call this and there is an another important question like how do we call a activity from a data flow for that scenario you write a function called execute activity in a data transform and refer the data transform over here then uh, it will be useful for us this is event strategy as we know that uh, there are some strategies that we can define and uh, the results from that strategy you can use uh, in your data flow and if you want to filter few records you can use this filter shape and you can add the conditions as well to eradicate uh, movement of unnecessary data this is text analyzer where you can define your nlp over here and this is merge suppose if you want to merge records from two different classes like how we have an activity like a page merge into one method you can use that and this strategy this is for decisioning strategies uh, the outcome of that strategy can be in a uh, key source here you can see here you can select a strategy that is already there and you can see what are the output strategy results whether individual results or particular property or what are the selected properties that you want if there are more properties for outcome from this particular strategy and you want only specific elements you can give this in this way you can configure a data flow and uh, you can play around with the data with from different classes hope you have uh, learned uh, the basic idea of a data flow and in the next video we would be covering about how to execute this data flow and what are the different options thanks for watching this video please share like and comment your feedback and stay tuned to this channel